most intrigued by the Dan Machine <laughs> conversion uh, regarding flat caps. Again, you're being held oh. to account by uh, by your twats <sighs> followers. It's just funny, like I said, the three guys in the back of the sherbet, they look stunning. You know back of the what? Sherbet. What's your sherbet? Sherbet dab cab. Oh! And, um, isn't, it just, isn't it just easier to say cab? No. Um, so that's what it was just, it, I just, it just, I saw it for what it was. I thought, this is wrong what I'm doing. I'm actually vilifying a whole section of society for no real reason. I was wrong. I was so wrong. Do you have another campaign in mind? It's a real disease! Yeah, no, I will do. I will do, but not yet. I've got something up my sleeve, but I'm not sure yet. I might have to consult you or maybe Dr. Chin. I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm going to do, but there's something coming. Hey. Buxton the Blue, uh, what first attracted you to Mrs. Boydie? A bum. A bum? Yeah, she bent over a pallet full of boxes. Right. And I thought, that's a nice bum. Did you pull a face? Yeah. Was there a face? A sound? Sure. Can you give us a sound? Oh! <laughs> that's exactly what I'm, I remember. It, yeah. it was September the 7th, 1995. Wow. Oh, that is a long time ago. It is a long time ago. Is that, how old were you at that time? 23? I was 23, 23, 23, 24. 24. Yeah. yeah. Right. Long time ago. Many hairs down the seat. Well, because his head's so big. Oh. Many hairs down the seat. <laughs> Guys, can you stop making noise? Oh, with the table. so upset. It's so <laughs> unprofessional. Yeah, who said they're not professional? <laughs> Dr. Chin, are you professional? No. Right. No, nor am I. Jill Dweller, uh, what would be the 10 things you would take into your nuclear bunker in the event of an apocalyptic meltdown? Um, ten things. Ten things. Ten things. Uh, toilet roll. Toilet roll. Uh, Donner kebab. Donner kebab. Very nice. What else will take? Uh, plenty of tea. Plenty of uh, carnation milk. Or that other long life milk. You know, UHT. What else will we have? So that one or the other? Or both? Just one. UHT. A kettle. Um, some biscuits. Like these. Oh, yeah. biscuits. Yeah. Nice biscuits. <laughs> Yeah, lovely biscuits. Catch show by date. Yeah. <laughs> um, where else? Are I? I'd have some football magazines. Obviously, there'd be no television or anything. No television, yeah. I'd take a radio, wind up radio in case something did happen there. Yeah. Um, some pornography, of course. You're not a fan of porn, though. Yeah, but I would be by then, wouldn't I? <coughs> so you wouldn't be taking Mrs. Boydie with no, you? No, she'd be dead, wouldn't she? Right. Yeah. So you're the one surviving. I'm surviving. I'm surviving. surviving. I'm the cockroach of the family, yeah? yeah. What's, uh, <laughs> how can you survive? Your new physique? Yeah, my new physique. Then. Yeah, see my foot. <laughs> Look at my foot! Did you break that time or what, Dr. Chin? No, no, I fixed it, I fixed it. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we, we, a cow steps on it. We really need to fix it. In a farm. <laughs> Don't ask what I was doing with a sheep. <laughs> well, 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 Okay, Doc, can you quiet him down? Okay, okay. Put a muzzle on it. Uh, have you finished? Hello. Yeah, that'll do. It was about <laughs> eight. It's not bad. Uh, an Irish Brit, your number one fan. Yeah, an Irish Brit, number uh, one. Apart from taking a stall into room 11. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been a boy? A stall? Yeah, no, if it's like you sit on a doctor. Fold oh! Yeah, foldable chair that you used make. to make me sit on the foldable chair. Oh. Uh, <laughs> have you ever been embroiled in other situations misconstrued as sexually deviant? Um, have I ever? Yeah, I've, I've, yeah, a couple of times I used to go see my mate a lot in his bedroom, and a lot of people thought we were gay. My, right. you know, like, we would just go there, listen to music, have when a drink. When you're just a modern man. <coughs> I'm a modern man, and that's what I'm saying. I'm very comfortable with my own sexuality. So I used to go in, we used to spend like three or four hours listening to music, having a drink, and that would be it, and people thought we were gay. And I mean, that's what it was, and that, that is the truth of it. So, yeah, wasn't gay. Oh. Yeah. Thornite, uh, seeing as you've become a keep fit nut, can you touch your toes? Yeah. You can touch your toes. Would you me to do it? Do you want to do it? Okay. Yeah, let's do it! <laughs> Alright, let's touch my toes. Right. If I hurt my back, watch, can I watch, sue? Watch the headphones. Can I take them off? I'll take them off. Alright, okay. I'll take them off. Why is this floor wet? Sorry, oh. I pissed myself. Just <laughs> trodden the mat. Oh, Jesus! Alright, ready? Go all right. I'll be back. Oh, ready? Go all right. Yay! Get to now. Back <laughs> there. Go on, the boy, Go on, the <laughs> You might as well flex your muscles whilst you're up there. Oh! Very nice, are you? Very nice. Look at that old tricep there. Look oh! Look at that, eh? Beautiful. Tricep. Beautiful. That's a dinosaur, isn't it? Not bad for a former fat man. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Final question uh, from the Potty Mouth Queen of Narnia and Two Rivers uh, Paramore EV80. Uh, reading this again, Mick, uh, people aren't happy with your decision uh, regarding the TWAPS campaign. Are you offering any compensation for the veterans of your futile TWAPS war? I haven't even begun my route yet. Right, route. Who, who, who's that from? Uh, EV80. She's the one who started it. She, she actually brought the campaign down and she knows it. So how dare she What, uh, simply by posting that yes. picture? Yeah, but she, she, she caused a lot of consternation amongst the troops. And I think that's the problem. And it's her fault. So no, she will not get no um, 
uh, compensation of any kind. But if she wants to DM me some photographs of her in a cap, I will quite happily look through them over um, a period of time. But no, no, no compensation for EVA at all. Potty mouth woman that she is. That's it for this week's Ask Boydy. Um, how do they get more questions to you, Mick? Yeah, just um, uh, get through to me on at Boydy71, hashtag Ask Boydy, and put your questions to me, and I will answer them as honestly and as openly as I can. We've got a stack of these uh, questions, uh, so I can assure you, if your question's not been on tonight's show, it will be on show 52. Bye-bye. <laughs>